You clicked on this video because you want to get voice chat on Roblox. But most importantly, you want voice chat without having to give your ID, right? That is the most important part, and that is why you're watching this video, guys. And I've finally found a secret method to get voice chat on Roblox without ID. This is going to work for all of you guys. So make sure you watch to the end and follow every single step I tell you about. And it is going to work because this is insane. Just before I show you guys that, I have so many Roblox gift cards and I'm giving all of them away. So if you want one, all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel with all the notifications turned on and comment your Roblox username 10 times. That's right guys, 10 times in the comment section. Do it right now. So the very first step guys, what you are actually gonna wanna do is make sure you're on the Roblox homepage, but scroll down right to the bottom past all the games on the Roblox homepage. All right guys, and then right at the bottom we have the language right here. Now my default language is English and your default language is probably English as well because you're watching this video in English and you guys are probably wondering, well, why does my language actually matter? But it actually does, guys. It's very weird. But what you're actually going to want to do is change your language. You're going to want to scroll down to the bottom, guys, past all the languages. Make sure you go to the bottom. And we have this language at the bottom right now, guys. It literally just looks like some squiggly lines. It's some Asian language. But the reason you guys are going to want to change your language to this is because if you click this language, it actually says unsupported language. While some experiences may use the selected language, it is not fully supported by Roblox.com. So some of the coding is messed up in this language. So it basically enables you to use voice chat without identification, without I. You guys can get voice chat if you're on this language. But the best part is guys, when you click OK right now, it's going to refresh your page and everything is still going to be in English. So it's going to look exactly like it did before. It's not like it's in a different language, but if we scroll down to the bottom, it is still in this language, guys. So it's working perfectly right here. So it makes sure you do that. Now, after you do that, guys, the next step is actually going to settings. So make sure you click the settings icon in the corner and then click settings. All right. Just like that, guys, you guys are going to want to click privacy just like that. And it should look like this. Now on communication, all right, guys, what you are actually going to want to do is change it. All right. So a lot of you will have it. So you maybe have it turned off here or when you have it on. Who can message me or who can chat with me in app and who can chat with me? You guys might have it on no one, all right? But what you're going to want to do is either select it to everyone or if you just want it as friends, you can also have it as friends. So either have all these options as friends or on everyone, all right? So on these ones, you're going to want to click everyone. And on this one, you're going to want to click friends. And then on this, this one, you're going to want to click friends or everyone. So make sure you do that right there. But the next step, what you're actually going to want to do is click the setting icon in the corner again. But this time you're going to want to click help. So click help just like that, guys. And then this page should load up. But what you're going to want to do is obviously go to the search bar and search in voice chat just like that. And we have all these ones right here. But you're going to want to click the top option right here, guys. You're just going to say chat with voice. Click this option right here. And we have all this info. What you can do is actually scroll down to the bottom of the page. And we have all this stuff right here. And then we have, was this article helpful? We have yes or no. And then just above that, we have this right here. It's going to say, need more help, contact support here. So that is exactly what you're going to want to click, guys. It's going to be in blue. You're going to want to click that right there. And it should load this up. So the first thing, guys, it's going to want to put your first name. Now it says it's optional, guys, but you're going to have a better chance of this working if you just put it in. So you guys might as well just put it in. So I'm going to put mine in right there, guys, right? Just like that. And then you're going to have your email address, guys. Now you guys are young, so you might not have your own email address. So maybe just ask your parents, like, can I borrow your email address for Roblox? They shouldn't care, guys. Or you could just create an email address or put your email address in if you have one. So I'm going to put mine right here. Guys, this is not my actual email address. It's just for the video. So you make sure you put your email address in right there. Or your parents if you need to do that. And then confirm email address.
So just type it again, just like that. Obviously, guys, type it again. And then we have issue details. So it's going to say, what device are you having a problem on? So you guys are just going to want to click whichever device you're having a problem on. PC, Mac, Chromebook, iPhone, iPad, Android phone, Android tablet, Amazon device, or Xbox. Now I'm on my Mac, so I'm going to select that right there. But just select whichever one you guys play your robots are on or whatever you are doing this method on. So do that right there. And then we have type or help category. Now you guys probably think we have all these options right here. You guys probably think it's chat and age settings, which some people do put. But I have learned from doing this, you have a less chance of this becoming successful if you pick that, right? So don't pick that right there because there's more chance of getting denied. You guys are actually going to want to click technical support. All right, technical support right there. So click that right there. And the reason you pick technical support and not chat and age things is because the people that manage technical support are more likely to approve it because they're more lazy and they just kind of approve things. And then underneath that, you're going to want to click any of these options. Now you guys can click cannot install, Roblox cannot visit experience or any of these guys. But the one I'd recommend is specific experience issue, all right? Because it's kind of a specific experience issue, I guess. And finally, description of issue. You guys are going to want put the issue you are having. So I'm going to show you the exact message you guys are going to want to put in right now, and you should get approved. It's literally nearly a 100% success rate with everyone that I've given this method to. So you're going to want to put this in right here. Just like that, guys, you're going to want to put this message right here. And as we can see, I've done, if you notice, you're basically threatening in them at the end. You're saying, I want to continue playing Roblox and not play another games. So they're going to get scared you're going to leave the game or whatever, guys. But the reason this works is because when you do on technical support, all the staff at Roblox are pretty lazy, and they're just going to approve it straight away. So as soon as you do that, just click Submit. Just like that right there, guys. Click Submit. It's going to load. Just do the puzzle right here, guys. Make sure you do it. Easy. Verification complete. Just like that. And then as soon as you've done that, it'll probably take within a few hours, maximum 24 hours, and you will have voice chat Roblox. Now, obviously, guys, like everything there is a small chance this doesn't work from experience. It won't work for about 5% of people. All right. So if you are one of them unlucky people, just redo the method again and then it will definitely work, guys. So worst case scenario, you're just going to have to do it two times. But if you guys were watching right at the very end of this video right now, make sure you click onto one of the two videos on the screen and out for even more help with other Roblox problems. So click one right now. Have an amazing day and peace out, guys.